Hi, it's Miss Parrot, and this video is Photosynthesis Basics. I'm going to be approaching photosynthesis from an introductory or around middle school level. Photosynthesis is the process by which photoautotrophs like plants, algae, and photosynthetic bacteria make their own food from carbon dioxide and water. Photoautotroph is a very fancy word, but if we break it down, it tells us what kind of organisms do photosynthesis and how they do it. Photo means light, auto means self, and troph means food or source of energy. So photoautotroph is an organism that makes its own food, so it makes its food by itself with the help of light. So you can see here's a plant, it's taking water up through the roots, carbon dioxide in through the leaves, and in the presence of light, it's gonna make its own food. Within plant cells, you can find chloroplasts, and chloroplasts is where photosynthesis happens. Again, this is gonna happen in organisms like plants, algae, and across the cell membranes of some bacteria that are able to do photosynthesis. Within chloroplasts, you can find a chemical called chlorophyll. This is a green pigment molecule that's going to absorb light. Here's the big picture of photosynthesis. If this is a plant with leaves, stems, and roots, roots are going to absorb water by osmosis, and then water is going to travel up the xylem, up the stem, into the leaves. Leaves are where the majority of photosynthesis happens because the cells of the leaves are where chloroplasts can be found. So water is coming in. On the bottom of the leaves are these holes called stomata. And carbon dioxide gas is going to come out of the air and into the leaves to make glucose there in the chloroplasts of the leaf cells. Also, a byproduct of photosynthesis is oxygen gas, and that oxygen is gonna leave out of the stomata on the bottom of the leaves. We can summarize the process of photosynthesis as a chemical equation. So we can look at it as carbon dioxide plus water, those are our, per, our reactants, in the presence of light and chlorophyll, because we have to have those things to capture the energy, will produce glucose, C6H12O6, and oxygen, O2, as a waste product. But this is not a balanced equation. So let's take a little bit to balance this equation together. As always, we start by listing the elements on either side of the chemical equation, C, H, and O, and then we count them up. On the reactant side, we have one carbon. Hydrogens, we've got two of those. And oxygen, two here, and then one there. So we have three. On the product side, we have six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and oxygens. We have six in glucose, and then two more over here in oxygen for a total of eight. All right, now we can think about what's going to be the easiest way to balance it out. So I have six carbons over here and one over there, so I could put a six as a coefficient in front of, in front of carbon dioxide. If we recount, this gives us not one, but six carbons. And now 12 oxygen plus this other one is 13. So my carbons are balanced, oxygen's still not, hydrogen's still not. So what could I do next? If I have 12 hydrogens here and two here, I could put six as a coefficient there, giving me now 12, six times two is 12, and now I've got balanced carbons, balanced hydrogens. It's just my oxygens that are still thrown off because now I have um, 12 oxygens plus six. That's now I've got 18. So what can I do to make 18 and eight balance? 
Well, six of them are here, so I need to do something here to make that 12. So I've already got two, six times two is 12. So if I put six as the coefficient, that's gonna be 12 plus these six, that's 18. And now our chemical equation is balanced. And that's the very basics and fundamentals of photosynthesis.